Have you ever opened an electronic device and wondered what all those tiny components do? From resistors to transistors, each part plays a critical role in making circuits work. In today's video, I will explain the 15 most common electronic components and their functions in a simple and beginner-friendly way. Whether you are a student, electrician, hobby store, a DIY, this is a must-known foundation for electronics. So stick around till the end. Resistors. The resistor is probably the most common component you will find. Its job is to limit or control the flow of electric current in a circuit. Think of it like a traffic controller, slowing down the flow to protect other components. We measure resistance in ohms. The difference between fixed resistor and variable resistor is that fixed resistor has a constant, unchangeable resistance value, while a variable resistor allows the resistance to be adjusted. Fixed resistors are used in a circuit where stable and predictable resistance is needed, whereas variable resistors are used for applications that require user input or environmental adjustment like volume control knob, capacitor. A capacitor stores electrical energy temporarily and then releases it when needed. It is like a small rechargeable battery inside the circuit. Capacitors are used for filtering, smoothing and timing application in power supplies and audio circuits. You can identify the polarity of the capacitor by looking for physical markings like a negative sign, a strip or a colored band which may usually indicate the negative terminal for most electrolytic capacitors. For reed capacitor, the shorter lead is often the negative terminal, while for surface mounted types, a colored band or a strip often marks the negative side. Look for positive sign to confirm the positive terminal and check the circuit port for the corresponding markings. Capacitors together with resistors and inductors belong to the group of passive components in electronic equipment. Small capacitors are used in electronic devices to couple signals between states of amplifiers as a component of electric filters and tuned circuits or as part of the power supply system to smooth rectified currents. Larger capacitors are used for energy storage in such applications as strobe lights or for power factor correction in AC power distribution systems. Standard capacitors have fixed value of capacitance, but adjustable capacitors are frequently used in tuned circuits. Different types are used depending on a required capacitance, working voltage, current handling capacity, and other properties. Inductors An inductor is a passive electrical component that stores energy in a magnetic field when an electric current flows through it also known as a coil or a choke. It typically consists of an illustrated wire wound in a coil shape. Inductors oppose sudden change in current helping to smooth out voltage surges or filter out high frequency noise. When a current flows through the coil, it creates the magnetic field around it. The inductor stores the electrical energy in this magnetic field. If the current tries to change suddenly, the inductor's magnetic field resists this change, which is slows the currents increase or decrease. This stored energy can be released back into the circuit when the magnetic field collapses. Diodes A diode allows current to flow in only one direction, like a one-way valve. You can identify a diode's polarity by looking for a band or a strip on the body. The white strip on the diode's body indicates the cathode of the negative terminal. Alternatively, Use a multimeter set to the diode setting to see which terminal shows a voltage reading when the probes are connected, indicating the anode or the positive terminal. It is used for rectification, converting AC into DC and for protecting circuits from reverse polarity. LED An LED is a special diode that emits light when a current flows through it. They are energy efficient and used everywhere. You can identify an LED's polarity by visual cues using a multimeter or with a coin cell battery. For visual identification, the longer lead is a positive or the anode, while the shorter lead is the negative or the cathode. This is the most common method for the basic LEDs. Another visual cue is flattage or the notch on the LED's casing.
which indicate the negative or the cathode side or look inside inside the LED the larger plate is the negative or the cathode and the smaller the positive or the anode transistor transistor is like a tiny electronic switch or amplifier it can control large currents using a small input signal you can determine transistor's polarity by reading the arrow on the emitter for NPN the arrow on the emitter points away from the base representing the direction of conventional current flow or the positive to negative and for PNP the arrow on the emitter points toward the base looking up the part number or the other way is looking up the part number online that means locate the part number printed on the transistor body type the part number in a search engine to find its data sheet which will specify the transistor polarity and pinout or the other one way maybe uh, using the multimeter to test for PNP and NPN characteristics for NPN the read or the positive probe of the multimeter should be placed on the base and if you get a reading when you touch the negative probe to both the collector and emitter it is an NPN for PNP the black or the negative probe should be placed on the base if you get a reading when you touch the read or the positive probe to both the collector and emitter it is a PNP transistor integrated circuit an integrated circuit or IC also called a microchip is a small device that combines many electronic components like transistors resistors and the capacitors onto a single tiny chip of semiconductor material usually silicon this allows for complex function to be performed in a compact efficient and reliable package forming the basis for modern electronics from the smartphone to cars an integrated circuit or an IC is a mini electronic circuit built on a single chip it can contain thousands to millions of transistors and components inside ICs are used for everything signal processing microcontroller timers and amplifiers and more transformers transformers is an electrical device that transfers energy between two or more circuits using electromagnetic induction its primary function is to change AC voltage up or down without altering the frequency. This is crucial for efficient transmission and distribution of electricity as transformers step up voltage for long distance transmission and then step down for safe use in homes and electronics. A transformer operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction, specifically mutual induction. A changing current in the first coil of the primary creates a changing magnetic field which in turn indicates a voltage in the secondary coil. The simplest transformer has two coils of wire, called the primary and the secondary windings, wrapped around a magnetic core. The ratio of the number of turns in the two windings determine whether the voltage is stepped up or stepped down. A step-up transformer has more turns in the secondary winding, increasing the voltage and decreasing the current, and the step down transformer has fear turns in the secondary winding, decreasing the voltage and increasing the current. A switch. An electrical switch is a component that controls the flow of electricity by opening or closing an electric circuit. It works by using an external force to change the connection between electrical contacts, allowing current to pass through when the switch is on or closed, and stop the current when it is off or open. A switch interrupts or completes the circuit. When the circuit is open, no current can flow. When it is closed, the circuit is complete, and electricity can flow to operate a device. A switches are essential for controlling the operation of almost all electrical devices, from simple light switches to complex control and heavy machinery. Relays A relay is an electrically operated switch. A relay works by using an electromagnet to open or close an electrical switch in a separate circuit. When a low voltage control signal energizes a coil, it creates a magnetic field that pulls a movable contact or armature to change the state of the high voltage or high current contact. This allows a small electrical signal to control a much larger one and also provides electrical isolation between the two circuits. When a control voltage is applied to the release coil, current flows through it. This creates an electromagnetic field around the coil. The electromagnetic field pulls the armature, a small lever with a movable contact toward it, the coil. As the armature moves, it either closes a normally open or a no contact, 
or opens a normally closed or NEC contacts thereby switching the connected load current. When the control signal is turned off, the magnetic field collapses. A spring then forces the armature back to its original position returning the contact to their default state or either opening the closed contacts or closing the open contacts. Relays are used for isolation and controlling high power loads with low power signals. Thermostor A thermostor is a resistor whose resistance changes with temperature. A thermostor works by changing its electrical resistance in response to the temperature changes. It uses a semiconductor material whose resistance changes predictably with temperature. In common, negative temperature coefficient or NTC thermostors, resistors decreases the temperature increases, while in positive temperature coefficient or PTC type, resistance increases with temperature. This property allows them to be used for precise temperature measurement and control in electronic circuits. Thermostors are made from semiconductor materials such as metal oxides. When the temperature of the semiconductor changes, the number of available charge carriers or electrons in the material also changes. It is often used for temperature sensing and protection in circuits. The photoresistor. A light-dependent resistor or LEDR changes its resistance based on light intensity. A photoresistor works by using the principle of photoconductivity, where its electrical resistance decreases as the intensity of light heating it increases. When light strikes the semiconductor material, the photons provide energy to electrons, allowing them to jump into a higher energy state or the conduction band. This increases the number of free charge carriers in the material, which allows more current to flow and lowers the resistance. In the absence of light, the electrons fall back to their lower energy state, increasing the resistance. When these photons strike the semiconductor material in a photoresistor, they can give their energy to bound electrons. If a photon has enough energy, it can excite an electron, causing it to jump from the valence band. The more photons that strike the material, the more electrons holes pairs are generated. With more free electrons available to move, the material can conduct electricity more easily and its overall resistance drops significantly. When the light source is removed, the electrons lose energy and return to the valence band. The material resistance increases back to its high original state. They are used in automatic lighting system and solar devices and light meters. Potentiometer A potentiometer works as a variable resistor or a voltage divider by using a movable contact called a wiper to change the resistance along a resistive track. When used as a voltage divider, an input voltage is applied across the ends of the resistive track and the output voltage is taken from the wiper. The position of the wiper determines how much of the voltage is passed through, providing a variable output. An input voltage is applied across the two fixed end terminals. The resistive track acts as a series of resistors and the wiper divides this track into two parts. The output voltage is taken from the wiper terminal, which is connected to one of the end terminals through a variable length of the resistive track. As the wiper moves the resistance between the wiper and one end of the terminal increases while the resistance between the wiper and the other terminal decreases. The output voltage is fraction of the input voltage proportional to the wiper's position. They are commonly used in volume knobs, tuning circuits and calibration. Fuses A fuse is a safety component that breaks the circuit if the current exceeds a safe limit. A fuse works by using a metal wire or a strip inside it that is designed to melt and break the electrical circuit if the current exceeds a safe level. This belong action protects the appearance and the wiring from damage caused by overcurrent from issues like short circuits or overloads. Once blown, a fuse must be replaced. When the electrical current flows through the fuse, it passes through a metal element. This element has resistance which generates some heat, but it is designed to handle the normal amount of current for the circuit without any issues. If there is a fault, such as a short circuit or an overload, which is too many devices on one circuit, the current increases significantly. The increased current causes the fuse's metal element to heat up rapidly due to heat-current relationship. When the temperature of the element reaches its melting point, it melts or vaporizes, creating an open gap in the circuit. This gap instantly stops the flow of electricity.
preventing the wires and the connected appliances from being damaged by the excessive current, which could otherwise cause fires or destruction. Finally, the PCB, which is the backbone of all the electronic devices. A printed circuit board holds and connects all the components using a copper tracks instead of wires. A printable circuit board or PCB is a mechanical base that mechanically supports and electrically connects electronic components using conductive pathways issued from copper sheets. PCBs are the foundation for almost all modern electronics, such as phones, computers, and cars, and are responsible for directing electrical current between the components. Electronic components such as resistors, capacitors, and microchips are attached to the board, often by soldering them to conductive parts. It gives structure, reliability, and neatness to the entire circuit. So let's quickly recap the 15 components, resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes, LEDs, transistors, ICs, transformers, switches, relays, thermistors, LEDRs, potentiometers, fuses, and PCB. Each plays a unique role and together they make our modern electronic world possible. If you found this very helpful, give the video a thumbnail up and don't forget to subscribe for more clear explanation on electrical and electronic topics. Drop a comment below and tell me which component you use most often or what topic you would like to see next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.